Here's today's daily shout outs. Congratulations, guys. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out on my next video, just leave a nice comment down below. <laughs> hey, let me grab you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lucy. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to drop a like if you guys think that Angel is the cutest griffin in the entire world. Wow. You are definitely the cutest griffin in the entire world in my eyes. Hey, don't slap me. Anyways guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the scary truth about Bratz dolls. Bratz dolls? You guys might be really confused as to what could possibly be scary about a Bratz doll. And let me tell you, I kind of was too. I mean, Barbie dolls growing up, they scared me a lot. But Bratz dolls, they didn't really bother me as much personally because they didn't look as scary as a Barbie in my opinion. However, there's a lot of controversy about these dolls, a lot of theories, a lot of rumors, and a lot of tea. The tea is hot. Also, did you guys ever own Bratz dolls? I personally don't think I did, even though they didn't scare me as much just because I was not a dolls person. I was more of a Webkin's little pet shop kind of person. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get on to the scary truth about Bratz dolls. <laughs> So for those of you guys who don't know what a Bratz doll is, well, here is a Bratz doll. I actually got this one from my favorite thrift store, and this one has a really spicy, very, very prestige outfit on. Let me show you guys. So here is the outfit on this Bratz doll. It's pretty much this like dress with beads, a necklace. She has huge lips like all the Bratz do. She even has glitter eyeliner, earring holes. She has feet, but you know what's scary about the feet on the Bratz dolls? The feet are detachable! I didn't even know that the feet were detachable until today when I was trying to like mess around with the doll and I ripped the feet off so yeah you can actually um, change up the feet and shoes on your Bratz dolls. I think that's what the point is so you can like put different shoes on your Bratz and Angel what are you doing? And that's kind of weird though because like now they're just like little stubs so apparently all the Bratz doll have the interchangeable feet and they actually scare me a little bit but yeah this Bratz doll is pretty crazy. But let me tell you guys more about the history of the Bratz dolls. So Bratz is an American product line of fashion dolls and merchandise manufactured by MGA Entertainment and created by Carter Bryant. Fun fact, actually really really sad fact, Bratz dolls and Barbie actually competed when they first were released Barbies were kind of the main doll on the market so when the Bratz dolls came out of course they looked a lot lot different than the Barbie dolls like here's a Barbie doll there's a Bratz doll I mean that's a lot different however Barbie was very jealous of that so the tea is apparently Barbie tried to sue Bratz and say that they were copying their brand however they look completely different they were just salty that there was another doll on the market that's the tea apparently and Barbie actually lost that lawsuit against Bratz so that's pretty crazy that the Barbie company was mad enough to sue Bratz because they were scared of the competition on these dolls. So originally when Bratz dolls were released, there was four original 10 inch dolls that were released in 2001. It was Yasmin, Chloe, Jade, and Sasha. So they only started out with those four dolls and they all had names and they all had things about them that were different. They featured almond shaped eyes with eyeshadow and very lush glossy lips. A lot of people were actually kind of upset that the Bratz dolls kind of showed unrealistic facial features. Some parents were saying that their kids felt insecure because their lips were so big, their eyes were so dramatic, etc. and their body shapes were a little unrealistic. Kind of similar to how Barbie had made a lot of kids and people insecure about their body shape. But Bratz reached a great success and the original line of dolls expanded a number of spin-offs like Bratz Kids, Bratz Babies, and as well as featuring the Bratz characters in a web series, movie, TV series, music albums, video games, popsicles, a web game, and so so much more. Bratz Bratz pretty much became a huge and big deal. I know that I even have clothing with Bratz dolls on it. There's even Bratz clothes now. So Bratz was definitely a huge success. So eventually when Bratz got more popular, of course their packaging and stuff started changing. So one of the things that made a lot of parents mad was this specific thing. Apparently a parental group were outraged by the release of Bratz Secret Date Collection, which was a very strange name for a collection of a kid's toy. These dolls were packaged with Bratz girls in the right half of the box and they were matched with mystery boy dolls behind the door on the 
left. The window showing the doll's feet would provide a clue to which boy's doll it was, especially important in the quest of the rare Bryce doll, available in only one of every 24 boxes. The group complained that the doll sent a negative message and allegedly promoting the idea of sneaking out of the house to go on blind dates with complete strangers. They also took an issue to the accessories that appeared to be champagne bottles and glasses. However, the accessories were confirmed to be bottles of smoothies. They called for MGA to remove the dolls from the market and MGA held fast. And the secret date collection, later renamed the Blind Date, continued to sell. Wow, that is some tea about the Bratz dolls. So here's one of the worst things I found about Bratz dolls. Apparently, as we know, the Bratz dolls' facial features are very strange compared to regular dolls since the eyes are so big and the lips look like they have a lot of lip filler and they have huge unrealistic features on their faces. Apparently when you take off the Bratz makeup, they look completely different. So one day I think a little girl actually got a stain on her Bratz doll's face, so she brought her Bratz doll to her dad and asked her dad to fix the Bratz doll for her. Apparently whatever wet wipe they used on their Bratz doll was strong enough to take the paint on the actual doll's face completely off. And when they removed all the paint on this doll's face, this is what the doll looked like. Yeah. Horrifying. I know. That is actually so scary. Apparently in that image too, there was a magazine bit pasted onto the doll's face, but they look scary all together without their facial features painted on. They look completely different and they look terrifying. And it's funny too because I know a lot of people actually like remove the face painting on dolls and repaint them to make a new doll, which I've seen a lot of and I've seen it with Funko Pops too, but people that have repainted their Bratz dolls have made their dolls look actually normal compared to the ones that are sold in the market, which is crazy to see what a Bratz doll would look like without the huge proportion portions of their face, they look a lot different. Honestly, I don't know, I don't mind how the Bratz doll looks, but I mean I could see where it makes people insecure, um, or makes kids feel like they need bigger lips, you know, bigger eyes when they're fine the way that they are, everybody's beautiful in their own way. But also, make sure to do whatever makes you happy, ladies and gentlemen. It's not bad to get fillers, it's not bad to wear makeup, do whatever you want to do, boo-boo. <laughs> Another huge controversial topic about Bratz dolls was the way that they were dressed. Most dolls that were put on the market were dressed pretty bland and basic, you know, a typical dress, maybe holding a purse, shoes, you know, just the basic. But Bratz dolls? Girl, they got some style going. Some of them be popping off in crop tops, some of them be, you know, dressing up with different hairstyles. They look very, very unique compared to your typical doll, which actually I kind of like. But some parents did not like how the Bratz dolls were dressed, apparently because they said it was too revealing or too scandalous or would make their young, young children want to wear outfits that were not very appropriate for their age because their Bratz dolls wore them, which is totally understandable. But since a lot of parents did find some of the Bratz dolls to be dressed way too revealing, Bratz dolls ended up making some of their newer releases a little bit more, I guess, a little less revealing and a little bit more neutral of outfits. I personally don't see anything wrong with the Bratz doll that I found at the thrift store. I think it's dressed fine. Yeah, the shorts on this are pretty short, but I think it's a cute outfit. Honestly, I would probably wear this outfit in real life too. And, you know, it's, it's very nicely made, honestly, compared to a Barbie. I mean, Barbies are cool too, but I actually prefer Bratz over Barbies, and I know that's probably an unpopular opinion, but I like how the heads are so much bigger. I like how the eyes have more expression and the lips are huge. I don't know why I like that. I just think it looks cool. I think it looks more cartoony, I guess, than the realistic kind of girl looking doll, which I prefer the cartoony look. I also feel like these ones are more flexible, like the head can spin all the way around. Do, 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 do. Also, the arms can be more interchangeable, like you can really pose the arms of these dolls. As you guys can see, the arms move around a whole lot, and like I said, the feet are interchangeable, so you have a lot of fashion and different style options with these dolls, so I kind of like that about these, personally. Another weird thing that Bratz did was they had the normal size dolls, but they decided to release a really big Bratz doll, and this one just looked kind of awkward because you'd see in the photos here, little kids would have these huge huge standing Bratz dolls that were like really big compared to the normal size dolls. Apparently those ones did not work out as well because kids were finding them harder to bring around and travel with and they were just huge. They were really really big dolls and they were expensive. Bratz dolls actually typically sold for around 30 to 40 dollars which was a lot of money for a doll in my opinion. I feel like that's definitely a lot of money for a doll. I would spend maybe like 10, 15, 20 at most on a doll in my opinion but they were selling for a lot of money and I think some of the bigger ones were even 40, 50, $60. So that's a lot of money.
money to be spending on a doll for your children. Not only that, but since Bratz dolls were so expensive, there were companies that tried to copy Bratz dolls. Like, they really, really wanted to get on that bank and they copied them. There were actually dollar store versions of Bratz that were released into the stores. They looked a lot like the Bratz dolls. They had the same big lips, they had the same expressive eyes, the same kind of like body structure, but they were made a lot cheaper. And those ones were trying to compete with Bratz, but obviously, they were not Bratz. I don't think they got so far with that. Maybe Bratz sued them. But not only all of that is scary, but there has been a few scary stories online about Bratz dolls that kind of concerned me. Here's one that I found online. So this one says, When I was younger, on my 8th birthday, my mom bought me a Bratz doll. This doll was the one that I've been wanting for such a long time. She was blonde, had blue eyes, and a fashionable outfit. Everything was fine with this doll when I got it, and I would play with it every day and brush its hair frequently and take great care of it. Until one day my dog got a hold of it and ruined it. It upset me pretty badly that my dog chewed up my Bratz doll because like I said this was a gift from my mom on my 8th birthday. However, I wanted to try to fix it and glue it back together. Sadly, that did not work. I tried everything I could to fix this doll, but my mom suggested that I should throw it away. I didn't want to throw it away though because that was my favorite Bratz doll and I didn't even have another Bratz doll. I only had that one that my mom got me on my 8th birthday because my parents were not the richest. So sadly, I ended up throwing it away and my mom offered to buy me a replacement doll. So I went to the store and I got a completely different Bratz doll and it wasn't as special but it made me feel better about the situation. I remember that night when I came home with the new Bratz doll, I had set it on my desk in the same place that I had set my previous Bratz doll. When I woke up in the morning, I remember seeing the head of my Bratz doll was gone. There was no way my dog could get to the doll because it was too high up on my desk and my dog had never even been on my desk before. I thought maybe one of my family members was pulling a prank on me but no, they weren't. I asked all my family members and they said no, we didn't do that. That. Then I remember going back into my room and seeing my old doll's head placed on top of my new Bratz doll. It was all chewed up and deformed and it looked angry. I remember after that I screamed a horrifying scream. I yelled for my mom and she was scared as well because we had thrown that doll away and there was no way it can get back into the house by itself. I don't think it was possible for any of my family members to prank me about such an event because they were terrified as well. So then after that I ended up throwing that doll away too and since then I've never owned another Bratz doll. That is some haunted stuff guys. I don't know how to feel about that story. That's kind of scary honestly. Ooh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. That doll might have been haunted. I always feel bad when I have to get rid of old toys or when I break them or when my dog chews them up because some toys they are like your special childhood toys and you have like an attachment to them but that's like kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed the tea of Bratz dolls today. There's a lot of interesting stuff on the internet about dolls. Let me know in the comments down below what other toy or scary toys you guys would like me to cover conspiracies about. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. If this video gets to 20,000 likes, I'll do more scary doll videos. And also leave a comment down below letting me know what your guys' favorite childhood toy was. It's been Lissy. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. You're cute. I love you too.